Hi guys, this is Psycho Wave Gaming, back with another horror game. This one is called The Ghost Train. Kensuke Tanaka, 42. Gender, male. Occupation, insurance company sales manager. So here we are at the station. Some posters for various products. Cat Cafe there. There's some time before I get on. I could use a little smoke break. Man, my throat is parched. Better get something. Also, my stomach would hurt around this time. I wouldn't want to hold it during the ride. So let's use the toilet first. Now we can buy a drink from the vending machine. And this is the smoking area. Now we just have to wait for the train. So now we are inside a coach on the train. Now, I have to get to my favorite seat, the corner of the second coach. She's the OL that always rides on the last train. I want to leave her alone though. I'm tired and I'm guessing she is as well. Is our seat. Ah, did it my stop just pass by? Or is it just my imagination? Maybe I can talk to someone to confirm it.
to this man. It's holding a container full of bugs. Escaped. Bzz. Free escaped. Ow. Bzz. I'm in a hurry. Could you please move aside? Escaped. Not in a very good mood. Bzz. It's no good. He's not listening. Whatever it is, I better get what he wants. Okay, so he says he has three bugs missing, but we actually have to find a lot more. There's one here. There's one on the floor there. one up here one on the window one on that pole. So let's head back to him and see what he says. Okay, so now he's moved aside so we can pass and talk to the conductor. Hey. Ah? Do you need anything? Do I need anything? Yes. I want the train to stop on the next one, please. You forgot to stop on the previous one. Oh, is that right? It must have been spacing out. I apologize for the inconvenience. We will prepare you the compensation necessary for your mishap. Please leave your contact information here. Oh, 
don't have the time and energy to complain to the railway company. I'm just relieved that it wasn't anything serious. I'll let it pass this time. I don't look forward to tomorrow's work. What am I doing with my life? Okay, so now we're on the second day. And we're going to go through the same routine again. Use the toilet first. then purchase something to drink. And back into the smoking area. See some lights flickering over there now. She's here again. Not going to lie, there's a part of me that's comforted by her always being there. Maybe I should talk to her. Um, hey. Typically I wouldn't have the space to talk to anyone. But I feel that the ice between us has broken. I guess it's thanks to last night's incident. Hey. Did you make it home safe last night? Yeah, unfortunately. Why? If it's okay with me, I'm all ears. Thank you. But there's nothing to vent about at this point. It's too late. Hmm? I don't think there's anything late about talking to someone about their struggles. No? It's too late. I'm sorry. It's been tough. And I'd rather not talk about it. Please forgive me. Okay. Well, I'm sure you've seen my me many times already, but... I'm usually on this train at this time. So, um... Okay. I'll keep in mind. What the hell? What's a little girl doing here? A kid shouldn't be roaming around the train this late. Daddy? I'm not your father. 
Hmm. Yeah, you look different. Hmm. Now, you get back to your dad. Oh, about that. I can't remember where daddy is. I was chasing a cicada I saw on the window. And now I'm too scared to go back alone. Mister, could you please come with me to find daddy? Either way, I can't let a kid be lost here alone. I guess I have no choice. Sure. Yay. Thank you, mister. So none of these people want to talk to us. This one is locked, so we're going to head back to the child. And there's a drunk man asleep up here. Ugh. The stench of alcohol. Uh huh. He's shivering. Hey. Ah. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Please get me out of here. What's wrong? I swear I saw something on this train. I swear. What is it that you saw? I don't know. It was something out of this world. He's probably just too drunk. I don't have time for this. Okay, we'll let you know when I see something then. Hey, by the way, do you happen to know this girl? Hey, he fell asleep. Hey, mister. What is it? There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Well, I think I had forgotten how my dad looks like. How is that even possible? I think it's because he looks like any middle-aged guy. That's why I thought you were my daddy. I think the only way is to talk to the ones who look like my dad. Okay. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? What? Don't know. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? Huh? No. Why, looking for her parents? Yeah, she said she's here with her father. It's rare for such a young kid to be here alone. What's wrong with people these days? Well, good luck to you. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. Do you happen to know this girl? No, I don't. I thought you were her father. 
I saw her sleeping next to you the whole time. This is the strangest thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it, asshole. Do you think I'm doing this because I want to? Excuse me, do you know this girl? No. And? Don't talk to me. That can't be. Her father isn't even on the train. Could it be that he left her alone here? Okay, now she's running off. I didn't know you were a father. No, I'm not. She's not my daughter. She related to you in any way? No. Why is she making that face? What does that make you then? I'm just a stranger. She mistook me for her father. She wants me to come with her to find him. Okay, I was concerned. What? No, I would never... Where did she go? So the drunk guy just fell on us. Ah, oh, that's my stop. What was all that? I'm probably too stressed. I can't even tell from dream to reality sometimes. So another day. Same routine. Toilet first. This time we can hear somebody outside of the cubicle. Let's purchase our drink. And go back over to the smoking area.
Okay, this time the lights are flickering and we can also see the head of a lady on the ground over there. And she's disappeared. Wait for the train again. She's not here tonight. And this is our usual seat. But there are three baskets blocking the way. So we're going to sit here this time. What's going on? A blackout? There's something wrong with this train. What time is it? 2am? It's way past the usual arrival time. I have to talk to the conductor. Okay, this door is locked. There's a lady here to talk to. What's wrong? What's wrong? Can't you see that the train is acting weird? I tried the conductor room, but the door is locked. How can you stay so calm? What do you hear? What? I can help you only when you hear the voices of the natural world, even in the midst of crisis. So please, tell me. In the order in which you hear them, what do you hear? Okay, so we have to head back to the first coach and we have to find out what all the noises are in each one. All the coaches have numbers on them now. So 
So this one sounds like a forest. This one sounds like the ocean or the seaside. This one is the cicada bugs. And this one is like a bell sound. Okay, so let's try a few things. So I think the first one was like a summer festival. And then a forest. And then the seaside. Cicadas. And temple bell. The other world says you indeed hear the voices of the natural world. The other world has allowed me to call the helper. It should be here any second. When you talk to the helper, the train should come to a halt. Okay, so let's go and look for the helper. There's an elderly man here to talk to. Are you the helper? What are you talking about? Who are you? Wait a second. I know you. You were one of those troublemakers at my high school. Ah, you don't change. Mr. Shimizu. How nostalgic. He's the man who saved me from dropping out. Without him, I wouldn't be in such a position in my company today. But Mr. Shimizu, why are you out this late? Well, it's a hobby of mine to get on the last train ride before going to bed. Weirdo, he never changes. However, now is not the time for a reunion. Sir, this train isn't stopping for hours and I'm afraid this train will never come to a stop. Is there anything I can do? Ah, I understand. Okay, listen carefully, kid. You must get off the train before the train reaches the end. My destination is at the end, and trust me, you do not want to go there. There are three stops where you can get off at. However, you must choose the right one. There will be an announcement melody played at every stop. When you hear the same sound as the sound you heard on the home station, get off. Otherwise, I won't be able to help you later. So be careful, young one. Okay, so we have to wait for the train to stop. Let's 
not that one. Not that one either. Okay, so we're going to take this one. So let's try and pass through here. Hmm. Looks like your card isn't readable. That's strange. It was working yesterday. Can you let me go this time? I don't want to miss my ride. Hold it right there. Don't you even try to get past. If your card isn't working, you better get the ticket. Can't you help me get a new card, though? No can do. You have to do that during the day. I can't help you at this time. So we have to go and find a ticket. Ticket machines are over here. Very empty. Buy a ticket. So let's head back. Guy's gone now. Something strange happening up there. It's that woman again.
so now we're back on the train. Take a seat. to be kidding me. Not stopping again. This isn't funny anymore. Try operating the train. The train doesn't respond to anything I'm pressing. There's a keyhole. Looks like I need a key to operate it. Okay, it sounded like someone just jumped in front of the train. And now the train is covered in blood. Okay, so we just picked up a windmill toy. We can see that some of these windows have some of the people we have met on the train behind them. And we have to place the items that are associated with them on the chair. So this one is the child. have the cane for the old man.
Have a shoe. Okay, this is the lady. We'll place the shoes there. We have the container of bugs. Place those there. beer bottle here. It sounds like the train has stopped. woman is chasing us now. open here. So we managed to get off the train. Looks like you made it. This isn't the place for you. You're going to need a ride home. But I don't have a home. Don't worry. Just call home now. They should know where to pick you up. Call them now before you get lost in the tracks.
So there's a phone booth there. This phone booth only accepts 10 and 100 yen coins. I have a 10 yen and a 50 yen coin. Seems like I've only got one chance. Who should I call? So we're going to call home. I know that no one would answer. But I have to follow what Mr. Shisumi has told me. Yes? Hello? Can't believe someone answered. Who could it be? Um, hello? Who is this? This voice. I know this voice. There's no doubt about it. It's my wife. How could this be? I called this number many times, hoping that someone would answer, but no one ever would. Um, excuse me? I should hurry. I only got a few seconds until my minute is up. Eco? When did you come home? I've been looking for you ever since you left. It's hard holding back my tears. However, now is not the time. Kazuki, where are you? K Kisaragagi. I'm at Kisaragagi. Kisaragagi Station? No, don't tell me. What do you mean? What did I do? So, you too. I know exactly where you are. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. There's a car here. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was my wife's car. She hasn't changed took her into my arms and cried. I'm glad, she whispered, patting my back. I held her hand and got into the car. You're here too early, she said as we were driving. I didn't know what she meant by that, but that didn't matter. All that mattered was that I got to see her again. We didn't have much of a conversation during the ride. There was so much to ask, yet there wasn't much to be said. I was happy enough to have her presence next to me, and rather soon we arrived at my place. She dropped me off and unlocked the door to my apartment, and just as I looked back, excited to invite her in, she was gone. Without making a single sound, she had disappeared. Today I live a normal life, as a salary man again, wondering every night if I'll ever be able to meet my wife again.
Okay, so that was The Ghost Train by Chiller's Art. Thank you for watching and take care.